Seagull, and there's a new patch. It was mostly balance, cha balance changes and art, and what the heck is that? That's right, you guys asked for it, and the devs responded. A super unit. This behemoth of a tank is called the Devastator, and is an endgame unit that quite literally devastates the enemy. It has six barrels of power, and the most damage, armor, and health of any unit in air mech, ever. Just look at it. It's the first super unit and is so powerful, they had to downgrade all the previous endgame units to just good. So exactly how powerful is it? Let's look at the stats. Alright, at first glance, the Devastator looks like a beast. It has six barrels and is so huge, it looks like it can rip through anything. But the stats tell a little different story. The Devastator costs 3600 kudos and requires Persistent Level 10 to unlock. In game, it does up to 300, 290 damage per shot and shoots about 2 per second. But numbers are really just that, numbers. So I'll compare it to its closest competitor, the Goliath. Wow. The Devastator costs more than 3 times as much as the Goliath but has 30% more health or hit points, and the same armor. It moves slower and takes three times as long to build. It has about double the turn rate and fire speed of a Goliath. It does more than double the Goliath's damage, including the fire speed rate, but doesn't quite do triple. Now let's compare it to an even smaller tank, the Longhorn. Six Longhorn cost about as much as a Devastator and do about as much damage as one Devastator, but cost 12,000 less credits. Overall have more hit points and take 12 seconds less to build. The only real downside to having more Longhorns is that they have less armor and obviously you can't carry six at a time, but you can mass command them to move them to different outposts, and they do move a lot faster than a Devastator. The Devastator can be taken down by three Goliaths, or even six Longhorn, which all cost the same amount of credits. So enough comparisons and numbers, let's get to some gameplay. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what a Devastator looks like in-game, some gameplay, see what it can do. So... It really is really heavy. I have the best carry mech in the game with the best parts and uh, pilot for carrying, but it's just really slow. Um, a Goliath is a lot faster, and obviously a Longhorn is a lot faster than that. So I do have a size comparison here for you compared to some other tanks and a infantry. So it is really tall and long. Is um. So it's just a really huge unit. So I'll show you the damage numbers it does to this other Goliath here. So it does about 550 per second. It does two shots a second. Um, this outpost, it does about 400 to an outpost. So this uh, Goliath does... 206 per second it does about a shot a second as well um, to a tank and then 221 to an outpost so um, the devastator does about twice as much damage as a a little more than twice as much damage as a goliath um, but it does cost so much more and it does have about the same armor, even though it has a lot more HP. It dies about as quickly to a um, as a Goliath would. So, and the turn rate isn't great. It can't really follow mechs much better than a Goliath can. Um, and it does move slower as well, so it's harder to push. But once you get two or three of them together with some anti-air and some healing units, they're pretty much indestructible. Indestructible. So if you can do that, um, great. That'll be a great line of defense. As you can see, it died to those mechs alone. 
So do that and then it will be great for you, but it will take a long time to do that. So if it's a fast paced game, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Devastator? It looks epic, it feels epic, and it scares the enemy away. If you have a low unit cap and lots of time to build some units, it's this is the perfect unit for you. Overall, building lots of Longhorns is probably more efficient for damage, movability, rate of fire, and build time. Um, it makes the Goliath pretty useless because you either go spam units with Longhorn or super units with the Devastator. The Goliath is kind of the useless unit in the middle ground. This unit is really only feasible in a 3v3. It's too dangerous to not have a build queue usable for almost a minute. If you could build one in a 1v1, it would be great because it's super hard to kill and kills a lot of stuff. I'm still on the fence about this. I think the idea of having a super unit is more fun than actually having it. I've heard talk of stat and balance changes, and it has already been changed a little bit, though. So my info may not be always accurate. So finally, this unit is lots of fun with friends, maybe for a hyper mode, but it's not too practical in PvP for most players. Who knows, maybe the dev's intention all along was for it to be a fun unit. That's all for this patch. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be coming out with more commentaries, tutorials, and any patch updates soon on my channel. So be sure to like and subscribe. And refer me if you're new to AirMech and download this awesome game. Thanks, see you later.